Robbie Weeds here, uh, standing in front of some boxwoods. Wanted to show you some symptoms. Right off the bat, you can see that they're yellow and gray. Up. This is yellow here, then it goes gray up top. Then right next to it in the same plant, you see these plants are all, you know, same. See it's green and uh, turns yellow. So obviously uh, something going on here. You can see the bark peels right off the bottom of the stems. Um, see this is completely, see uh, the bark can peel right off. Here's a good example. Comes right off and then if you look closely, you see these black dots on the inside of the bark and they even protrude outside the bark. It's uh, fungal fruiting bodies. Um, if you put all these symptoms together, you get volutella blight. It's common on boxwoods, uh, especially uh, um, ones that have been planted for uh, or together like this. Uh, they don't dry out and uh, the fungus spreads pretty rapidly. It is not the same as the boxwood blight that's all over the news for quarantines. Um, that's Calonecteria, I believe. This is Volutella. Um, this can be treated. treated. You want to prune out the infected branches and spray the rest of the plant. One like this, this would be removed. And then this one would be pruned and treated and then a follow-up treatment. Um, it's just, uh, it spreads any, they say any, uh, um, Volutella infected boxwoods are gonna infect ones near it so they recommend complete removal or removal pruning and uh, spraying um, what the disease does is that it infects the stems and the fruiting bodies uh, grow and they grow into the stem and uh, that affects the vascular system of the plant and stops water from uh, uh, moving up the xylem as it should and you get desiccation of the leaves and it looks like water deprivation when actually there's plenty of water in the soil as you can see from part of the plant growing strong but then you see uh you know right next to it it's starved completely of water to the point of necrosis so uh that is uh volutella blight and that's how to identify it the treatment i would uh go back and forth between uh dacanil uh and probably Cleary, Cleary's 3336. Um, uh, if you're looking in Home Depot, it's clonathanil. And um, I forget the active ingredient in uh, Cleary's 3336. I think it's a thale. Uh, I'm not even going to try. But uh, um, you just want to go with a regular fungicide program. Um, uh, these blights, sometimes you need a more specific uh, fungicide. But... Uh, Dacanil and Cleary's will do a great job rotating those two, at least to get you started to stop the, the fun fungus from spreading. That's the most important thing when you got a situation like this. You want to stop the spread and then eventually um, you want to fertilize and water and strengthen what's left and that's how you uh, repair it. But the most important is stopping everything from getting worse and then you can w worry about uh, repairing and regrowing. But um, it's very important to stop things uh, from getting worse. I, as you can see here, we're at 50% damage, so a conversation has to be had about removal of some of these and then talk about which ones are going to be saved and, uh, you know, replacing with um, boxwoods resistant to uh, uh, blights um, is definitely in the conversation as new cultivars of boxwoods have come out, which definitely uh, are more resistant to blights than uh, ones even from a couple of years ago the newer cultivars are better at that so that's robbie weeds i'm out